So this is the first drive with the new exhaust tip, three to five inch. Yeah, we got soot starting to build up on here. Yep, you can see it. Pretty dirty. was always just a dump axle dump was always the new motive after you know stack well stack I mean you can't really utilize the bed so you just constantly breathing in soot and burning everything you put in the bed especially like a kayak being plastic and a wood one I guess would burn too and that's like thousands of dollars they yeah like four thousand for a cheap wood one or at least a good hand handmade one I think so then also with the axle dump well you're gonna have to find a place to pass that because well, at least here in Pennsylvania, for inspection, the exhaust needs to exit the vehicle. So that's not exiting, and of course, soot and fumes, pollution, whatever, can build up just underneath the truck and somehow get into the cab, I guess is what they're worried about. This is a Cummins sticker on a Dakota. Cummins sticker on a Dakota. You don't see that every day. So this is the first drive with the new exhaust tip and to be honest with you, the tone has definitely changed and definitely for a positive, positive way. Like I said before, if you guys have a 2007 and a half to a 2013 Silverado and you decide to go this route with the exact same exhaust tip that I have, oh, look at that. Ram with some very ugly custom taillights. That's weird looking. Oh yeah, got the, uh, definitely got the thumbnail right here. Look at that, so we got a headlight problem, but yeah, 22 by 16s, bro, looks freaking amazing. And then up here, got a way too long Duramax. Look how long that sucker is, you should see the new GMCs like that, even longer. So I don't know if you can hear it too well because the GoPro audio is not that good, but if I had the big camera, you could definitely hear it a lot better. But definitely sounds a lot nicer, man, and it's definitely worth the money buying it. Plus the aesthetics, man, it looks a lot better. Definitely worth the purchase, man. I'm glad I installed it, but like I said before, if you have like the 2007 to 2013 Silverado, got the same exhaust diameter, well then you're gonna have to do something like bending a little bit because the exhaust pipe even though it advertises a three inch and this is a three inch pipe it's going to come a little bit bigger so you're gonna to have to bend a little bit at uh where where it mounts but you cannot you can not even tell that it was done and you're only getting yourself a even better a better hold on it and of course you could always just go a welding route later on so it's definitely worth it man it's awesome so my philosophy is, is that even though it's gas, why can't you have that big exhaust tip as well? I mean, I, I could see how a bigger, you know, diesel diameter pipe being a four inch, five inch would fit a bigger tip better, but I think this looks great. And honestly, if I had like a longer one, I'd do like a six, but they just don't fabricate these. So I'd have to go really custom by actually reaching out to somebody who does metal work. But for what I can find, this is great. And the coating on it is amazing because when I was, uh, using like a wrench on it and then later a rubber hammer it wouldn't chip it at all like it was there was it wasn't even close to ever chipping or scratching or anything on it um, the the actual powder coat or whatever they used to line it and even the inside of the actual tip is just uh, remarkable it's awesome I'm also running a Flowmaster Super 40 series muffler on my truck bin so for about three years now and it's definitely been broken in so it's louder than it would whenever you first put it on just keep that in mind also whenever the truck gets up to warm operating temperature and I'm also cruising about like 40 miles per hour or if on the highway 
there's no drone noise at all with this truck and uh, even though it did make the exhaust louder with the exhaust tip not drone at all and also the main reason why that i installed this exhaust tip is because originally way back if you guys remember sawing off my pipe with mike the exhaust pipe um we bought a cheap exhaust tip and then we bought the sawzall blade and everything i already had a sawzall that cut some off of the pipe look at that nice truck we put on this small i think it's uh i think it was three to three and a half around there or three to four exhaust tip and it honestly just didn't do that much it had a nice interior on it like glass black interior made a good rumble to sound to it but it was originally chrome and i sanded it painted it but it started to chip and stuff and the paint on it turned to like a light grayish i mean you saw it when i installed this one this one is actually like powder powder coated black or something from from factory actually buying it so that's a lot better and i want to go with something more permanent something that i don't have to repaint all the time and of course we took care of the pipe too so now it looks like really custom fab like i said so uh it's coming together man it's coming together and of course like uh in a perfect world i go with like a full new exhaust like borla corsa flowmaster magnet flow you name me mbrp but as of right now this all i do piping is uh completely stock right now stock gm besides the muffler and of course now we got the exhaust tip on so it's coming together man it's pretty good painted up all the way up from the engine back if you guys have been watching for a while you know that but that's my whole exhaust setup man that's all i got and it honestly sounds great people ask me all the time what do you got going on and like we got an exhaust well stock exhaust just muffler exhaust tip it's great got all these five threes man they sound awesome because v8 will never die and here we go back on the toll road here in a second and i don't have to pull up my pass because it is now on the windshield spun the tires back there and I'm running a stock tune on this truck so it's pretty uh pretty awesome definitely gotta get a black bear tune on this truck 